champ. Can I just say that you are looking spectacular tonight? You just bring this energy that lights up the locker room. Oh, man. Cross won his match real fast, huh? How can you tell? You look pasty and nauseous, and that always means one of your ideas is blown up in your face. Yeah, uh... Carrion caught Veer Mahan in the cross jacket right off the lockup. It was over in ten seconds. Ten seconds? So who do I have to beat in nine seconds or less? Uh, Apollo Crews? If I had two minutes against him, I'd be fine. But nine seconds against anyone is nearly impossible. You suck, Troy. Good luck out there, champ. The Dark Horse biggest challenge tonight is not Apollo Crews, but the clock as he attempts a 10 second victory. The match is almost already over. Great athleticism. Can he do it here? Is that it? This time limit expires, and we have a draw. Introducing the challenger from Sin City, weighing in at 265 pounds, Karrion Cross. And his opponent from New York, weighing in at 240 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the Serious faces on our competitors. This big moment is not lost on them. There it is. The ultimate prize. The Universal Championship. A title worth putting it all on the line for. If the WWE Universal Champion's last match was a blitz, this one looks to be a battle of survival, with both men trying to outlast the other in a last man standing match. The Dark Horse is putting his title and body on the line. Whoever stands tall when the dust settles will have certainly earned the victory tonight. Well, I think the sands of the hourglass are running out for our champion, and Doomsday will officially arrive in the form of Karrion Cross. With no count outs, there's nothing keeping her inside the ring. He's taking this to the floor now. No matter which way he uses that ladder, there's going to be a crash. Whoa, the ladder hits. Jeez, that's going to hurt. Vicious right forearm. Oh, right in there. Boom, oh, what a drop kick. On the mark. Overhand right lands. Kick to the gut. The setup. Up and implant buster. Come on, let's go. Thrown back in under the ropes. And the manager is searching under the ring. She could only be looking for something nefarious down there. Boom, oh, what a drop kick. On the mark. to the table. I can't begin to imagine what he's got planned here, guys. Maybe it's a yard sale. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. High risk area up there. Oh, man, setting him up on the top rope. This isn't going to be pretty. They're way up there. 
This is going to be catastrophic. Oh! Superplex to the table. Clearly holding nothing back. Using that well-placed table to great effect. And he's up. Referee's 10 count broken. Looks like it's back to the drawing board. And he has free reign to the outside with no count outs to worry about. Those are folding chairs, but they can also fold you in half. Counters, this could be an opportunity. Oh, whoa, oh monkey flip. <laughs> I love it. And Cross can't find an answer for these attacks. I assure you, Kerry and Cross was not expecting to be in this position. Oh, with authority. Oh, God. And these attacks are spelling nothing but trouble. There is nothing but malintent behind each of these attacks. And you never want to count a competitor out, but there seems to be no signs of defense right now. This has to be stopped. The cumulative damage here is going to have long-term effects. And that was a precisely measured attack. This is just getting uncomfortable at this point. Cross gets out of the way. And he gets set back into the ring. Perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer here. Fulton Plancha, incredible. Like a heat-seeking missile, hit the target right on the mark. Climbs back inside. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. This is the only time anyone gets excited about garbage when a steel trash can gets involved with a fight. I don't care what they say, nothing good ever comes from getting the tables. And he denies Cross. Style. The challenger's hopes are slipping away. Might want to walk it off or shake it off or do whatever he needs to do to get his head in the game here. And not ready for the bell just yet. Yeah. Looks like setting up for a suplex. Going to finish things off. Oh, wow. He just got broken in half with that one. Broken in half, splinters everywhere. He might as well just stay down because the rest of this match isn't going to get any better for him after that. They are in position. Their opponent has no idea what's coming. Oh, she's removing the turnbuckle pad. Come on, this isn't right. She's taking things to ringside and responds with a counter of their own. Oh, a drop kick on the mark. And Cross is brought to a disadvantage now. Yeah, but Cross just has to revert back to his killer instincts to regain control. Holy, what destruction. Nothing says, here's my vicious side, like throwing a chat can at the fallen opponent. The WWE Universe giving him an extra shot of adrenaline. And just like that, stopping the referee's count, continuing this match. Lifting them up. There's the go to sleep. The title's going nowhere. Kiss your dreams. Good night. Stop gloating and put your attention back to the match. He has a task at hand, but prefers to be showboating right now. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing, and it could cost him. Oh, man, the referee just counted to seven. Okay, already, we get it. Stop looking for adulation for the crowd and get back into the fight. Waist lock applied, but their opponent, big right hand. He's pushing back now. If he was looking for an opportunity to pull a 180, that could be it. And an overbearing amount of offense against Cross here. Cross has a look of someone surprised to be in such a position. Outside the ring now, he has no need to rush. That table has only one destiny, and it involves being broken in half. He returns to the ring. Close line. Oh, that'll leave a mark. Turnbuckle drop kick. Lots of attention being put on the torso here. Yeah, it's obviously been targeted throughout this match. He's doing some dangerous redecorating. I think the table really ties it all together. Count still climbing. We're up to seven now. Placed in the 
corner. And Cross fends him off. And Cross is finally changing the tempo with that attack. Good chance for Cross to gain his wits about him. He had it scouted. Reversal after reversal, proving they did their homework. Looks like setting up for a suplex. Going to finish things off. Boom. Wow! Straight through the heart of the table. We are through the looking glass now, people. Everything goes from here on out. Kick to the gun and a shot. And stops their opponent. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I think the champ's got it. He's getting a huge boost right now from all those chants and cheers. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? He climbs into the ring. Up to seven now. This could be it. This match ain't over yet. Cross is brought to a disadvantage now. Cross on the wrong side of every exchange. Kendo stick impact. Able to avoid any harm there. Any one of these attacks could cause irreparable damage, but I don't think you can come back from this many. Champ taking the worst out of the exchange. I think Cross just advanced the count on the doomsday clock with that attack. Turning the tables. No way! What a cross body! It's like a heat-seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring ringside. <laughs> Count gets to seven. This is close. Boom, utilizing the unforgiving steel of the ladder. A count of seven. Is this really it? Oh, that's not how you're supposed to use a ladder. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. He'll head to the ring. Takes more damage. Cross out of harm's way. Clothesline takes him down. Forget about it. And he had Carrion's number there. A drop kick on the mark. And Cross can't find an answer for these attacks. Yeah, but Cross just has to revert back to his killer instincts to regain control. You gotta dig deep. It stops their opponent. Oh, come on, really? It looks like they're not done. Lifting them up. Go to sleep. Can it be? Will the rain continue? This is not good. And the champ stands tall once again. Now let's take a look back at some of the great action.
here is your winner, and still, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the Superstar! Another incredible win for the WWE Universal